This simple mathematical formula will help you to figure out the mixture amount on any silicone mold you own in a flash. But I get it, you have no idea what that formula means, but don't worry, it's super simple and I'll break it down. Let's go. Hi, my name is Jay Catalano. My new silicone mold just arrived from Amazon and I have no clue how much mix I need for my mixture, but my simple mathematical formula will help you and me figure it out fast. In fact, to prove my point, I'm going to open my new silicone mold that's still in the box and show you how I can easily figure out my mix for both cementol and hydrostone. I'll even show you a trick on how you can figure out how much mix you need if you don't use the two mixes I listed above. Now, there are two things I need to make clear before I break this simple formula down. Every silicone mold is slightly different. Even if you buy the same exact silicone mold from the same exact person each and every time. The difference isn't huge, but it's worth noting that there are slight variations in each mold, so keep that in mind. Now, the other thing is that this formula I'm about to break down for you will leave you a very small amount of leftover mix after you pour. That means that you won't be scraping the bottom of the bowl to completely fill up your silicone mold. Why is the formula like that, you ask? I designed it in such a way for a couple of reasons. The first is because inevitably some of your mixture will stick to your mixing utensil and or your bowl. The second reason is that on the off chance you spill a little mixture or some of your mixture splashes out when you mix, you're protected with a little bit extra. Not a lot, but a little because the last thing you want is to be left without completely filling up your silicone mold that could be very frustrating. And with that said, I'm now going to unbox my new silicone mold so we can get started. Okay, I'm back. Here is my silicone mold. And again, I've never used this before in my life. I have never bought it before in my life and I have no clue how much mix I will need to successfully make a vessel using this silicone mold. You ready to get started? Let's go. Cementol. Now, the first thing you're gonna do is you're going to get out your scale and place your silicone mold on top. I'm gonna use grams so you can use whatever you want. The formula still works. I'm gonna make sure to zero that out. And then you're gonna take plain old regular tap water and fill it up all the way to the top, like so. Now, when I say top, I mean comfortable top, not top to the point where if a slight breeze comes by, sorry, it spills over. You know what I mean? Not that high, not that top. Comfortable top, as if you are actually pouring your mixture in your mold. Once you reach the top, jot that number down on a piece of paper. That number is your WF or water fill number in your formula. My number says 710 grams. There's no need to round up or down. The number is what the number is. Now I want you to take that number and times that by two. And for me, that comes to a total of 1,420 grams. Now we have our first part of our equation complete. WF times two equals, for me, 1,420. Make sense? Easy. Now all you need to do from here is times that number by 86%. Now I haven't done this before, so I'm gonna do it on camera now. 1,221.2 grams, I'll round that down for simplicity, 1,221. Now that we have that number, we need to find out the water amount for our mixture. That amount is easily figured out by taking the CA number, or the 1,221, and times that by 25%. And that comes to 
305.25, I'm gonna round that number down to 305. Bam, that easy. There are your numbers. So now we have all the necessary information to figure out how much mixture we need to make this silicone mold using cementol. Now I'm going to mix up a batch using the numbers we just calculated together to show you how much content or mix I have left over in my mixing bowl. My camera ready? I'm done. And here is my new Amazon silicone mold filled up to the top and look how much content I have left. It's nothing. It really isn't. You won't be able to really see. Can you see that? It's a little itsy bitsy amount and that's it. It's that simple. Now I'm going to let this dry, demold it, clean up my silicone mold and get ready to go over how to figure out your mixture amounts for Hydrostone. Let's go. Hydrostone. If you're new to the world of creating concrete candle jars, you feel lost and just want to improve your skills, I've got something awesome for you. It's called the Winning Formula, a comprehensive course that covers everything you need to know from the basics of working with concrete to mastering your formula through the skillful use of color pigments. This course has got you covered. It's not just about teaching you how to do something, but ensuring you understand it fully so you can confidently take action. The best part? You'll have direct access to me, which means you'll save valuable time, money, and avoid a boatload of headaches. I'm here to support you every step of the way. And in addition to all of that, inside this course, you'll discover an amazing collection of bonus resources that you won't want to miss. None of this stuff is public on my YouTube channel. These extras will take your learning experience to a whole new level and help you become a pro at making concrete candle jars. Check out the link in the description for more details and start elevating your concrete candle jar making skills today. Let's go. Now our formula to figure out our mixture for hydrostone is slightly different than our formula for cementol because there is more water content that is added to create hydrostone which in turn changes the formula. Luckily, we already know how much water it takes to fill up our giant silicone mold. So let's use that number to fill in the unknowns in our equation. WF, which is our water fill number, was 710 grams. And if we remember multiplying that number by two, gives us a total of 1,420 grams. We now have to multiply that number by 81%, which gives us a total of... Eleven hundred and fifty point two, which will round down to eleven fifty. That means that it takes one thousand one hundred and fifty grams of hydrostone for this silicone mold. Now we must find out how much water content we must add for our hydrostone. To get that number, we just have to take our eleven hundred and fifty grams and multiply that number by thirty three percent. Why 33%? Because hydrostone has a three to one ratio, and so one part of three is 33.33, or in this case, 33. Now, what is 1150 times 33%? Three hundred and seventy nine point five. I'll round that number up to three hundred and eighty. So we now know that we need eleven $1 hundred and fifty grams of hydrostone and three hundred and eighty grams of water to mix together to ensure we have just the right amount of mixture to fill this silicone mold without any leftover. Let's test it out. <laughs> And here is my silicone mold filled to the top. 
and we have very little leftover. If you can see this, very little leftover precautionary mix in my mixing bowl. But what if you don't use cementol or hydrostone? Oh no, wait, what are we gonna do? Don't worry, I got you covered. Other cement mixes. Now before I share a small and easy trick to figure out how much content you need to mix up your mixture in case you don't use cementol or hydrostone, let me show you what my two huge vessels look like. Aren't they awesome? These are both in its raw form as I didn't add any pigment to either mixture. And I think I'm going to drill a hole in the bottom and turn them into planters and gift them to my wife. She loves plants, so it's a great way to, how shall I say, kiss a little ass? <laughs> All right, the first thing you must know is your dry mix to water ratio. If you don't have that, this won't work. So go figure that out. For example, cementol is a four to one ratio, one being the water. Hydrostone is a three to one ratio, one being the water. And hydrocal is a 2.5 to one ratio, one being the water. Does that make sense? Make sure you know that number. The next thing I'm going to say is I highly suggest you develop your formula on a smaller silicone mold. No need to get a giant one like this to test out your formula. There are going to be some mistakes and possibly unnecessary waste in the beginning. I wanted a huge silicone mold to create a video and prove a point. Now, if you don't use cementol or hydrostone, you're going to simply use the cementol formula as a guide. And with that said, that means that you will still fill up your silicone with water and multiply that number by two then multiply that number by 86%. Now, every mixture is different, and I haven't tested or developed a formula for your particular mixture yet. However, all mixtures have a formula with dry content and wet content in order to make a solid vessel. So starting with 86% after doubling your water fill number is a great starting point that will pretty much get you in the ballpark of your correct dry content number. And who knows, maybe that number is perfect and then you're done. If you don't have any mixture left over and weren't able to completely fill up your silicone mold, you'll have to increase that percentage. Likewise, if you have a ton of mixture left over, you're going to lower your 86% by making an educated guess and try again. For example, if you can fill up a full cup of your leftover mixture, I would look to lowering my percentage two to 3%. That means that instead of multiplying by 86%, I would multiply by 84 or 83% and adjust from there. To figure out your liquid content, you'll just need to plug in the number you already should have for that amount. Remember, that's your water amount. That method is exactly how I figured out the hydrostone number because I already knew my cementol number. And once you find your number, you're done. As long as your mixture doesn't change, you'll be able to figure out any silicone mold that you have or own. It's that simple. And take a look at these videos that are popping up now. They're gonna help you on your concrete, hydrostone, and candle making journey. Until next time, Thanks for watching. Ciao.